I didn't even watch any of the LASIK procedure before I did the surgery just because I so I don't, I don't know, I just needed to know, like I just needed to hear it and that was it, that was fine. I just don't like watching surgery stuff because it kind of like grosses me out. I've been avoiding it for a while, but for the sake of this video, I think I'm gonna have to watch it. Do it for the YouTube. <sighs> okay. LASIK surgery. Ooh, LASIK surgery gone wrong. Here we go. <gasps> God. I can't watch this. Frick. Let me show you. I'm gonna do it. <sighs> no. I can't. It's just an eye. It's just an eye. They did that to me. Oh god, is that blood? Yikes. What are you doing? That's definitely blood in the eye. Okay, I remember that part too. Ooh. I kid you not, I'm like not breathing right now. My eyes are dry from watching this. I remember that moment when they like released my eye and I just like closed it but I remember that feeling it was just like <sighs> like I could breathe <laughs> okay so that wasn't that bad because it wasn't like a bunch of blood but but just anything with like eyes, like you have no idea. I'm, I'm like, ooh. Okay, so I'm glad that's over with. So this video in total took a little over five minutes. Um, and then the procedure was done for one eye. So I guess I'll talk about my experience now. The LASIK surgery is when they cut open the eye, they just kind of create a flap and open it and then they'll use a laser surgical tool to reshape the corneal tissue and they'll close it and that actually they just, just like naturally heals so my vision is actually not the same in both eyes uh, my right eye is negative 3.75 my left eye is negative 4 I used to wear glasses and I used to wear contacts so it's funny because I used to wear contacts for the longest time and then out of nowhere I just started to have an allergic reaction to the plastic in the contact lenses and so I had to look for thinner contact lenses that had less plastic in it. But it just wasn't working for me, like my eyes kept getting red and irritated, it would create a red like circle around my pupil. I was like, this is not good for me. And always having to wear glasses and contacts and putting things in my eyes and my face and like... I wanted to get LASIK since I was like probably 20 or something when I just went to college. Um, 
but I was advised to wait until I was a little bit older and wait for my eyes to fully develop, I guess. So I kind of waited. So I am 24 right now. I got the surgery done when I was 23. So at that point in time, I've been waiting like a really long time to get this LASIK surgery done. So that was one thing I wanted to do when I came to Korea was to get LASIK. I went on April 16th, which was about one year ago. I go in for the consultation, they check my eyes, and I'm given the notice that they could do the surgery on that day. I don't remember being scared. I just remember being like kind of calm. Uh, I wasn't too scared until I actually like laid down on the bed. And then I was like, shoot, I was like, I remember to the doctor, I was like, oh, like I seriously said that. I don't remember holding anybody's hand. The nurses were like, it's like, oh, it's okay, don't worry, you know, we'll be finished soon. In Korean, it's like, and then, and I was like, oh, dang, rejected. They're like, lay down. Like, oh, shoot, this is about to get real. And then they put clamps on my eyes and literally like to pry it open, to keep it open like that. Ooh. But um, they're like, hey, look at the green light. So I just kind of refocus. I just remember that there was the laser and then there was this burning smell. There was like almost water. They were spraying like a tiny little hose of water just like over my eye. It was like another tool, a uh, windshield wiper, just kind of be like, choo, choo, choo. okay, maybe it wasn't like that, it was like, like this. At one point, I actually went blind, so everything was dark, I couldn't see, and I don't know what caused that, but it, it was kind of weird, because my eyes are open, but it felt like my eyes were closed, because everything was black. Then as soon as they finished it, they um, unhooked the clamps, and I was able to close my eyes. As soon as I finished my surgery, they took me to like this kind of guest room, I guess, and I laid there for about 10 minutes. They just said, just go in there and just rest, keep your eyes closed, and we'll call you back out in a few minutes. And so I go in there, I'm laying down, my eyes are closed, and I just remember I try to open it like a little bit just to see if I, if I could really see. Normally I can't really see my hands from my arm's distance. I open my eyes and I put my hands out like this. I can see my hands. And then I had to close my eyes again because I was like starting to cry. But because I just got the surgery done, it was like really hard for me to open my eyes without like, it was just so sensitive, but it still wasn't this like overbearing pain that I couldn't, you know, I just couldn't bear. It wasn't like that. It was just more like this like irritation. They take me out of the room. Are you free to go? I had to go downstairs to a separate prescription office, get some eye drops for my eyes and I was on my way out. My friend Amy came with me so that she could help me get back home. In total, I think it took about 10 minutes for the whole process to be done, and I was done. I guess the main question is, did it hurt? And the answer is no, it was like painless. Before I went in, they put in these uh, eye drops. And what the eye drops do is they numb your eyes. I didn't feel much. It just felt very like this. Un it just felt like an uncomfortable pressure. I think it took about like a one or two days for me to feel completely fine. So I went to a hospital in Gangnam, and it's called Gangnam Do Palgun Anqua. Doctors were super nice, like really friendly, really caring. I can say a year later that I'm glad that I got it. I don't have any regrets. Now I can see fine. I can see perfectly without any kind of problems. I mean, it could be better, I guess, but I mean, I can see and that's fine. That is totally fine with me than being blind almost. The one downside to having LASIK surgery is at night, it's a bit hard to see. It's just kind of hard to, I guess, see clear outlines of things just because um, if there is some kind of light, the rays of the light will expand, creating like a blur around the objects. 
Now, my eyes do get dry from time to time, so I will use nothing. <laughs> I don't use I don't use eye drops, but you can easily use eye drops too. I just found that the remedy for my eye dryness is just to get enough sleep because when I'm tired, that's when my eyes will get like like sleepy and I think that's also why it just feels dry um, but when I'm on a good day I'm fine normally like if I have enough rest I don't really have a problem with my eyes so yes I give a thumbs up to this LASIK eye surgery and if you're thinking about it I think you should definitely do it I do suggest that if you are interested in getting LASIK surgery or any kind of laser eye surgery procedure done then you guys should do some research about it so those are all the things that I want to cover about my LASIK surgery procedure. If you guys have any questions about anything that I didn't go over, uh, feel free to leave comments and ask me questions. Thanks for watching. Bye!